Now, baby, I miss you. I tried to leave earlier, but my until tomorrow. Now, baby, I miss you. I tried to leave earlier, but my boss wanted me to interview everyone and their mama after the press conference. It was a madhouse in there. You can pick me up from the train station tomorrow? I can do that. You want to hang out afterwards? My nana's having a little get-together at her house tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm crazy busy with deadlines. And besides, you know, Christmas is just another day for me. I'm not really in the holiday spirit. I'm just gonna go back to my hotel. Thank God I didn't check out of my room earlier. So I guess things could be worse. Okay, well, look, don't, don't stress out too much, baby. I'll just see when you get back here tomorrow. As a matter of fact, how about we, um, we stay in tomorrow? My place, have dinner, I'll cook. That works. Okay. Sleep tight. Call me first thing in the morning, all right? Okay. Talk to you then. All right, baby. Bye. My night just freed up. Looks like Christmas came early. <laughs> now I have you all to myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Happy holiday. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm actually about to sit here. Ooh, no, actually, I'm I'm sitting here. But I apologize for any mix-up. Uh, well, if you just let me have the table, there'll be no need for an apology. Giving, that's what the holiday spirit is all about, right? Yeah, but it's also about receiving, and I'm counting all my blessings. Now, as much as I would love to be in the Christmas spirit, I'm tired and hungry. This, this table has my name written all over. If I could just... What, what are you doing? If you just let me... Just, where are you going? If you just let me have... Can you just give me the table? Fair is fair. But technically, I was already here, so this is actually my table. Yeah, well, well I can see how you might have come to that conclusion, but I was actually told this is here by the host, the, the one that actually works here. You know, the one you talked to prior to, to being seated. Okay, fine. Hey. No, I didn't say I want to eat alone. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind the company. You want to join me? Sure. Why not? Perhaps we should start over. My name is Jonathan. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Chance. Same. May I? Thank you. So what are you in the mood for? <sighs> um, a drink. <laughs> Actually make that too. Oh, double fisting. That's kind of day, huh? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> what are you thinking about having? Probably just a Jack and Ginger. What about you? Oh, my usual. Jameson on the rocks. You would not believe the day I've been having. <laughs> yeah, well, I can only imagine. This traveling for work is wearing me down. Oh, so I'm not alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was actually supposed to be on a train on my way back to Philly, but here I am, stuck in D.C. for the night. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I mean, DC's actually a great place to be stuck in. My flight doesn't leave until late tomorrow afternoon. Where's home for you? Atlanta. Mmm, ATL, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's one of my favorite cities. So, what do you do for work? <clears throat> well, what's so funny? Don't you hate that intro? I mean, you meet someone and the first thing you talk about is where you work. Or what do you do for a living? As if it defines our existence. How about this? How about we don't talk about our careers? How about we just have a good time? Let's forget about everything that's stressing us out. Now, we both have one night left in the city, so let's make it count. OK. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, now, let's find this waiter so we can get a drink and forget about all our stress. Come to the store. I almost switched from the 
Lisa. What are the odds? Two people in this busy city meeting at the same table. What are the odds? Oh my gosh, it's almost nine o'clock. We've been here for almost two hours. <laughs> well, I guess it's true. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> so what are your plans for the rest of the night? Just going back to the hotel and getting some rest. Oh, sleep. Come on, you can rest later. Let's go sightseeing. What, tonight? Yes, tonight. Tomorrow we'll be forced to go back to our regular lives. So let's live it up. <laughs> Besides, I've never explored DC during the holidays. So much to see, so little time. Check your bag at the front. Come on, let's go, let's have some fun. I don't know, it's cold outside. Have you been out there? Don't worry, I'll, I'll keep you warm. Oh, I bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you really gonna make me beg? Now, technically, you owe me. I let you sit here, uh remember? Oh, you let me? Yes. Oh, well, if I can remember correctly, I believe I graced you with my presence, so mm. you should actually be oh, thanking me. really? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't leave your brother hanging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know you're lucky you're cute. I think I'm cute. You are I Don't go getting a big <laughs> head or nothing. Well, I think you're pretty cute, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, let's have some fun. OK. Where to? Uh, follow me. Wait, so you're not going to tell me where we're going? <laughs> It's a surprise. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, man, arcade's about to close. Uh, we open up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hey, but sir, can we just play a few games? I mean, we won't be long at all. I wish I could, man, but I still got to clean. Besides, man, my boss would have a heart attack. So. Look, I, I totally understand that, but it's our first date. Our first date, huh? Go with it and smile. Yeah, yeah. it's our first date. <laughs> <laughs> I promised her a night to remember, and if I don't get her in here, she definitely won't let me forget about it. I mean, come on, you know how women can be. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. My girl, <laughs> stay tripping. I'll tell you what, you got 30 minutes. I still got some things to finish up in the office. I don't want to tell if y'all don't. Mm. Our lips are sealed. Thank you. We appreciate it. Ain't no problem, man. Follow me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Say it's our first date, right? Yes, our first date. Yep. There you go, brother. It's on me. Wow. All right, here you go. Um, enjoy. I'll be back in a few. All right, thanks. All right. You ready for all this? Um, why wouldn't I be? I just don't want your feelings getting hurt after all these losses that you got to take. <laughs> oh, so what are you saying? I, I can't win? I didn't say all that. I just said, I hope those hands can move as fast as those lips do. <laughs> <laughs> you like to throw trash, huh? Uh-huh. OK, well, let's see. All right, let's do it. <laughs> if you make your right, 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 right. <laughs> We ain't got it. Oh. Some 
reindeer ears. They're so cute. <laughs> so did you have fun? I did. I really <laughs> did. I haven't played like this in years. I used to love coming to the arcade with my parents until they... Until they what? Never mind. So where to next? Well, you have to wait and see. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Got it? Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> I said earlier and peeked inside. Now, whoever the artist is, they're really, really talented. Looks like the lights are on. Could be open. You want to check it out? Yeah, let's go. I actually sold that piece earlier today, but I still have a few items available. My name is Sebastian. Jonathan, pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Hi, I'm Chance. Pleasure's all mine. Wow. I have to sketch you guys. Us? Yeah, you and the fella. You're gonna sit right here. I don't know. This is probably gonna take a long time. What do you think? Come on, I think it'll be quick. Besides, have I steered you the wrong way yet? No. No, you haven't. See? Just trust me. Sir, can you tell this pretty lady that you're gonna take good care of us? <laughs> That's right. Don't you worry, you'll be out of here in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. You two look in this direction. Um, young lady, do you mind tilting your head just a little? That's it. Perfect. So, how long have you two been dating? Dating? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we actually just met today. Today? Really? You were supposed to just go along with it. Well, you gotta let us listen to all these things ahead of time. I need time to prepare for things like this. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely have great chemistry. Looks like you've been together for years. Really? Mm-hmm. Looks like we've been together for years. I heard the man. So how's that picture looking, sir? Oh, it's looking good, don't you worry. I have it all under control. You know, I met my wife around Christmas 25 years ago. Is that so? How'd you guys meet? <laughs> it's a funny story. I was hanging out at a bar not too long after I graduated from my art program. I went out to celebrate. I was supposed to meet a young lady I fell for in one of my art classes. So. I put my best suit on, my best pair of shoes, and this brand new winter coat I saved all summer for. I don't mean to brag or pat myself in the back, but boy, did I look good that <laughs> night. Oh. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> what was her name? I believe her name was Sylvia. Anyhow, I waited and I waited, but no Sylvia. Oh. Boy, was I crushed. After a few drinks, I decided to call it a night, so I made my way over to Kochek. And guess what? You'll never believe what happened. What, what happened? happened? The doggone Kochek lady gave my expensive wool cut away to someone else. What? Oh, yes, yeah, she did. Oh, we argued back and forth about it, and she stood there with this, I can care less, look on her face. Man, was I pissed. W what did you do? I married her. We have three amazing children and we're about to celebrate our anniversary. Oh, that's beautiful. It's all about timing. Life has a weird way of allowing things to work themselves out. Take my advice. Don't think too hard. Sometimes you just have to let things happen. 
Where's the live by? Wow, just some wisdom I picked up along the way. I may not be an expert on everything, but I do know something about love. Just let it lead the way. All done. Oh, oh my God. Oh. This is amazing. I love it. Thank you. Wow, you really did your thing with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. You almost look as good as me. Boy, please. <laughs> I know you don't even believe that. Well, here you go. Thank you. No, I, I can't let you do that. How much? You can, and you will. Did you hear anything I said? Just let things happen. Are you sure? I'm positive. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks again. Guys, just make sure you take care of each other. We will. Yeah, we will. Ciao. <laughs> that was really nice. Yes, it was. So, where to now? Got it. Follow me. That man was so sweet. Yeah. I mean, 25 years. Now that's where love. <laughs> Couples go up the status. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Mm. I mean, that's love, dedication, sacrifice, commitment. That's everything. Yeah. You pretty much covered them all. Chilling out here. I told you I'd keep you warm. This holiday, save on gifts from the best brands. We're talking 20% off Nike, 25% off Champion, and 25% off Under Armour. Plus, earn Kohl's cash and get free store pickup. Kohl's. <laughs> it feels good having someone on your side to care for, be there for. Life's twists and turns that it has in store. Cause it's the little moments where we show how much we care. And with so much to protect each day, a little goes a long way. Nationwide is on your side. I just wish more people knew how easy it was to get health coverage. I'm only paying $52 a month, but there are quality plans for even less. My job doesn't offer health insurance, but with the new... This is it. We're here. Yes, we are. Wow, that tree is so pretty. Oh my gosh, they're singing. Oh. On the mountain, over the hills and everywhere, go, go, tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Oh my gosh, you guys sound so amazing! Oh my gosh! Wow! Did you hear them? It was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I really just have to thank you for bringing me here and showing me such an amazing time. I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, well, not so fast. We're not done yet. Wait, I thought you said this was our last stop. It is. But you haven't made your wish yet. My wish? 
What are you talking about? You see that star up there? Yeah. You have to make a wish on it. Says who? <laughs> Listen, I don't make the rules, <laughs> but I can tell you if you don't, you're going to have five years of bad luck. Whatever. I know you just made that up. <laughs> Fine. Don't believe me. <laughs> but if things don't work out for you over the years, don't blame me. <sighs> okay, fine. I don't want any negative energy, so let me make my wish. You okay? Huh? Everything good? It, it, yeah, everything's fine. Are you good? It, yeah, I'm I'm good. <laughs> Time to say goodbye. Yeah, I guess it is. I'm gonna go ahead and just call my ride. Look, Chance, even though I do not want the night to end, just know that I had an incredible evening with you tonight. I mean, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. <laughs> and I owe it to you. Same. I've really had a lot of fun, despite things starting off a little shaky. <laughs> they did, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> but you really opened my eyes and allowed me to see what the true meaning of Christmas was all about. So no matter what, I'll never forget this. So thank you. You're welcome. So, what time does your train leave tomorrow? Uh, I think 1.30. Why? I would like to see you before you go home. I mean, we could get a coffee and some food. How does that sound? No. Yeah. Okay, brunching in D.C. <laughs> <laughs> How can a girl say no to that? Sign me up. Cool. Sounds like we have a date. That we do. Give me your phone. Text me tomorrow. Most definitely. Have a good night. You too. See you later. See you soon. Hey! You, you score. It's incredible. God, who's the man? Me. I'm the man. Jonathan Bateman. Yes. Can't wait to tell Steven. He's not going to believe this. Oh, my God. Watch out, idiot. Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, no. no my, my phone. Uh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Seriously?
Hello? Hello? Hey, my name is Jonathan Bateman. I lost my cell phone and I really need to locate a number in it. Yes, the number is 404-555-0221. The password is Mayor 2021. Capital M, everything else lowercase. No, no, I haven't backed up my phone recently. What do you mean there's nothing else you can do? Well, are you sure there's no other option? Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm sorry too. Since retirement, it's not just a chick. She could be my lady. She could be my wife, Stephen. She could be the one. Who's the one? Lauren. Stephen, um, let me give you a call back. Um, matter of fact, I I'll just I'll just catch you in the office tomorrow, okay? Okay. Well, look, I gotta run, but I'm gonna talk to you about it tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye. Honey, I haven't heard from you in two weeks. I wanted to make sure you were all right. Lauren, how did you get in? Easy. I just tipped your doorman. Yeah, well, I'm definitely filing a complaint. Aw, are you not happy to see me? I tried calling, but your phone keeps going straight to voicemail. Uh, yeah, uh, I lost it. Um, it's a long story, but I got another one. So, um, to what do I owe this pop-up? Well, silly, I missed you. I know we've been playing cat and mouse, you've been traveling for work, and I've been vacationing. But while I was sipping my margaritas on the beach, out of nowhere, a thought popped into my head. I need a boyfriend. And who better to play that role than you? All right, Lauren, um, what are you talking about? You heard me. With Brittany Freeman getting married? You know how I can't stand her. What's up, man? You gonna help me with my bag or what? Oh, oh my bad, my bad. My bad. Uh, uh, baby, too strong to get that bag for you. What took you so long? I've been out here waiting for over an hour and I've been calling you. You know it's the holidays and the stations are closed. I've been out here freezing. I know, baby. I got caught up with Nana. I had to help her get ready for dinner tonight. The door. I'm sorry. Now, watch your coat. Uh, 
chance on act like that, baby. Yeah, you don't miss me. I don't get a, a hug, a kiss, or nothing. During Christmas time. Happy now. So I take it I'm still in the doghouse. Yeah, you are. Okay. Look, baby, um, I know I've made a lot of mistakes in the past. And I apologize for everything I put you through. I'm sorry, Chance. That's the reason why I've been working on me. Okay, I, I think it's time for me to just be a better man. Not just for me, but for us. I think we deserve a fresh start. Let's just push past the past. And whatever I need to do to make you feel comfortable and gain your trust, I'm willing to do it. Whatever, baby. Brandon, I've heard the same thing over and over again. If you want to gain my trust back, you need to show me. Actions speak louder than words. Now, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I've been traveling all day. I really just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. You mind just dropping me off at home? Of course, baby. Whatever you want. Who's that? Uh, Nana. Always checking up on me. You know I'm her favorite. <laughs> must be nice. What do you mean, must be nice? I'm your favorite, too. Whatever. What do you think, red or blue tie? Uh, oh, the red tie. Makes you look more political, more patriotic. Are you sure? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, well, I've heard that before. Oh, man, that was one time in college, and all your hair grew back, did it? Barely. Still hair. <sighs> oh, bro, have you seen this? What is it? That's gone viral. Uh, this lady's doing a live news broadcast, right, with the civic leader. The man's wife shows up to confront him about cheating. Bro, <laughs> OK, I need a good laugh. Let me see. That's her. This is her. This is her. This is crazy. No, you're crazy. Why are you yelling? OK, so you remember the girl I told you I met in D.C.? D.C.? Think. Months ago, we hung out all night. I, I lost my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that was supposed to be the love of your life, and you let her get away. Yeah, you got jokes, but this is her. What are the odds? Tell me, she is not beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you. She's gorgeous. I can see why you've been out of shape about losing her number. I told you. Tyler. That's her last name. Well, what are you thinking? Are you going to reach out? Hell yeah, I'm going to reach out. What do you mean? What about Lauren? Who? You know, your girlfriend? <sighs> yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I wish you'd permanently forget about Lauren. What'd you say? Hmm? Uh, I said that you should reach out to her. Really? I should, right? Yeah, I would. But what if she's mad at me? What if she has a boyfriend? What if she doesn't? Hey, you keep thinking about what if. You're never going to know what could be. True. Mm. Let me think about it. Well, don't think too long. Think about what? Hey, babe. <laughs> hey, you really have to stop sneaking up on me like this. I wasn't expecting to see you. Mr. Page, how are you, sir? I am well, son. And I see things here are in motion. Yes, everyone is working around the clock to make sure we win this election. That is a spirit. <laughs> Jonathan's a shoo-in for mayor, following right in your footsteps, Daddy. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Steve. You still work here? Lauren, such a pleasure. You know, how is it that we keep running into each other? There's so many places in this city to be, and yet you are always here, unannounced. Don't you have something to attend to? Shouldn't you be somewhere, I don't know, making sure all the paper clips are still in the box? Daddy and I were in the area having lunch, and we figured we'd stop by. Oh, just pop up unexpectedly. How exciting. Over lunch, we were discussing your future. Really? W what about my future? I'll let Daddy fill you in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a few moments to spare? It'll only take a sec. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, go to this office over here. All right. No, no, no. If, if he wants to win this election, he better propose to me. Or he can kiss his little dream of becoming mayor goodbye. Of course, girl. Having me on his arm will help his image and seal the deal. Yes, it's a win-win situation. He gets what he wants, and I'll be the talk of the town, honey. <laughs> oh, you already know what I want. A winter wonderland wedding. Can you see it? Too much? <laughs> it's gonna be fabulous. Okay, girl, let me go. <laughs> oh, mm, Jonathan and Lauren married? Hell no. I gotta do something about this. Not on my watch. All right, here we go. Zero, 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 zero. Not great, okay. Chance Tyler of PAA6. Found you. I don't know what Jonathan's talking about. Okay, how do I word this? Uh, good day, Miss Tyler. My name is Jarvis Jackson. That's ridiculous. That's not a name with clout. It's a butler's name. I need something with clout. Clout. Think, 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 think. Oh, I got it. A good day, Miss Tyler. My name is Davis March. That's awesome. I'm awesome. That's it. Okay. You yep. Girl, where have you been? I just came by to get my autograph before you become famous. Oh, you got jokes. No, I'm serious. Your video is doing big numbers. You've already hit 250,000 views in two days. Oh, well, let's break out the champagne. Most people would be excited about this. You managed to go viral, and it's like you don't even care. It's not like I don't care. I just want to be recognized for my good work, not because I was sent to cover some BS story and the people aired out all their drama during my broadcast. You know how bad I want to be taken seriously. Yeah, I get that. And your time will come. You just have to be patient. Patient? Girl, I've been a field reporter for almost six years. I need something different, something better, better stories. I want that chair. But in order to get that, I need better content. I'm tired of covering stories like the grand opening of Tyrone's Fried Chicken. Okay, first of all, you are tripping, because Tyrone's got the best fried chicken in the city. <laughs> and Tyrone's brother, Clint, the one that cleans out the grease, mm. Child, talk about fine. Seriously? Chance, you're good at what you do. You know that. But maybe you've outgrown this place. Don't get me wrong, I love having you here, but if you want more and you want it now, it might be time to move on. Perhaps you should refocus your career. Because you know what they say, if you don't like something, then change it. Yes. That part. Oh no, maybe you're right. Yeah, I'm always right. Look, don't beat yourself up about it. I gotta get going. Some fool just stole 40 pounds of flounder from the fish market off of 9th Street. Thief in the night. <laughs> Do you wanna cover it? Uh, girl, bye. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Later. Bye, Skylar. <laughs> Miss Tyler. We've reviewed your recent video and are very impressed with your ability to hold your own on camera. We would like to invite you to sit as a guest host on Good Day, Good Morning for our political debate segment. Yeah. I'm on my way to DC. I did it. Charlie Horse. <laughs> Those treadmills, they'll get you every time. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Boss. Mm. Hey, 
What's wrong with you? Why you got your head in the clouds? You'll never guess what just happened. From your tone, I can tell it's not good news. <sighs> Man, listen. So tell me why did Lauren's father come in here and basically tell me he would help me win the election if I marry his daughter? Really? <laughs> Wait, not, not former Mayor Dexter Page, man of the community. Yes, that Dexter Page. So he decides to tell you this right before your fundraiser tonight. That's interesting. Why would he do something like that? I have no idea. You tell me. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what to do. If I don't go through with this, I won't win. But if I do, I'll be stuck with Lauren for God knows how long. Jonathan, you got to think about this. Is winning that important? No, marriage is intended to be forever. Your term's just going to be four years. You're right. I get it. Y'all been kicking it for a minute. But half the time, you can't even stand her. Is she good for your image? Yeah, but is she good for your life? Now, that's a question you got to ask yourself. But what about my political career? He said that if I don't marry her, I can forget about my future. And you know, eventually, I want to become state senator. Well, that's where you got to put in the work to make sure that happens. What do you mean? Your boy got a call today from the lady that manages Voice of Reasoning. Voices of Reasoning. What's that? It's a podcast, focuses on politics, huge following. They want to feature you as a guest on the show. Now, if you start expanding your brand now, then when that time comes, you're going to have the following and support you need. Follow me on this. Your political career is rising. Your face is plastered on every television screen and newspaper, and Chance is standing right by your side. Chance. Did I say chance? No, I, I meant Lauren. My bad. Look, you're living the dream. But in order for all that to happen, we have to try a different approach. And that starts right now. So what do you say, Mayor Bateman? I like the sound of that. Forward thinking. I'm down. When, 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 where? What, what, what's the details? We got to get you to DC, all right? We're going to check in first things first. Girls night. It's a pregame. Yes. <laughs> mm. I have some snacks for us. Mm. Is it me or are there no available men out here? It's like they're all extinct. Skylar, you tell no lies. Oh. They're all married. Or the single ones got kids hidden somewhere. <laughs> What's wrong with kids? Mm. I'm a single mom. Do I not deserve love? And besides, how many MILFs do you know that look like this? Mm. Tell them, girl. Listen, it's not the kids. It's the baby mama drama that it comes with. Oh, that part. Okay. Like you don't have a hidden mugshot somewhere. What? Uh, what? She tried it. <laughs> don't act like a man has never pushed you to the edge. If we're crazy, it's because they make us crazy. Well, mm. I mean, can women really have it all, though? The career, husband, kids, is that all just a myth? No, it's not a myth. And yes, we can have it all. And we will have it all. We just have to be patient. That's it. <laughs> How much more patient can one get? My clock is ticking fast. <laughs> no, it's like it's impossible to find someone that's on the same page. Or the time is never right. That's mm. not true. There are some good men out there. <laughs> you just have to look. Wait. Where? Y'all are just looking in the wrong places. Hey, okay, Miss Know-It-All, where should we be looking? Hmm. How about church? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I already looked there. They're all married. <sighs> and the two in the congregation that are single are either broken or hurt. That is baggage I don't have the bandwidth to carry. <laughs> oh, look who's talking. <laughs> what? You really trying it? Uh -huh. She did. <laughs> Listen, I'm not hurt, <laughs> OK? I'm just sensitive, y'all. Oh, so sensitive. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, OK, so then what about networking mixers? Yeah. Nope. Mm -mm. Networking events are just code words for hooking up and one night stands, girl. Mm. <laughs> and of course, you should know this. Oh, let's just say <clears throat> I've been to a few. Hand me the one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, D, I love right. it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, dating apps. <laughs> dating apps. They're girl. successful. Dating apps? Yes. Girl, please, mm -hmm. you might as well just say free meal because that's all you're going to get in that exchange if you like That it. is not true. I'm serious. Okay, I have a good friend. She met her man on mm -hmm. a dating app and they're getting married. Mm -mm. It's possible, y'all, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Well, I haven't had any luck. But you see, Miss Chance doesn't have all of these problems because she actually has a man. That's right. Whatever. So? What's up with you and Brandon? Tell us the secret. Uh, Brandon and I are taking it slow. Slow? slow? 
<laughs> you guys have been dating for a year now. What if he, I mean, what if he just can't give me what I want? Girl, have you not been listening to us all night? Look, I'm not trying to put all my eggs in one basket, okay? What if he's not the one? Girl, what are you even talking about? You and Brandon are great together. If you say so. It's so easy to. Are we ready to win this election? Yeah. I don't think you heard me. Are we ready to win this election? Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to thank everyone for coming out here tonight. Your support means a great deal to me. Now, there's still a lot of work to be done, and with your generous donations, we can and we will win this race. My main objective is to serve you, the people of Atlanta, while uplifting the community. Now, as your candidate elect for mayor, I plan to support, impact, change across the city. Now, I would like to take the time to thank my team for dedicating their time and efforts to this campaign, including my campaign manager, who also called my best friend. Stephen Chambers. <laughs> now, without all of you, there would be no me. I won't hold you up anymore, so mingle, drink up, and enjoy the festivities. I'll meet you at the polls, and remember, check the box for Bateman. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God, honey. You did an amazing job. Thank you. The crowd was filling your speech. You were firm, your posture was good, great presentation. Um, not really filling your shoe choice. But we'll talk about that later. So once you announce the engagement, we'll have it in the bag. I can see the headlines. The political empire reigns supreme. In fact, I think we should get married on live TV. Live TV? Uh, OK, Lauren, <laughs> I think you're taking this too far. Oh, honey, I can go further. Let's just get married on Christmas Day. Look, all eyes will be on us. Tell me that wouldn't be epic. Wait a second. You've got to think, think about it. Just Sorry. Sorry. Mr. Page. Hey, uh, excuse me for a second, sweet. Of course. Listen, can I borrow you for a moment? I have some people I want you to meet, and they have some deep pockets. Let's go. <laughs> so, what do you think about those two? What two? Your boy, Miss Lauren Page. I try not to think about it. Mm. She's a handful. <laughs> I'm sure this is just another one of her schemes to stay in the limelight. Oh, tell me about it, babe. Not for long. What do you mean? Let's just say that Lauren's in for a rude awakening. This whole Real Housewives thing is coming to an end. After Jonathan gets back from D.C., it's game over. No, really? Well, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Chance? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here filming a segment for Good Day, Good Morning. What are you doing here? I'm being featured on a political podcast later. <laughs> well, this is odd. You know, I haven't seen or heard from you in months. Mr. No Call, No Show. Whoa, 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 I can explain. That was a simple mistake. Yeah, mistake, mix up, right? Yeah. Wait, did, did you get the same letter I got? Y yeah, I found it on my bed. It says, visit the front desk to receive information regarding your dinner reservation. What does yours say? Mine says the same thing. This is a coincidence. Okay, but wait, who, who does yours say it's from? Someone named Davis March. Same. Okay, this is weird. Super weird. <sighs> Steven. I'm going to kill him. Well, who is Steven? He's my campaign manager. Campaign manager? Wait, what do you have to do with politics? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Jonathan Bateman, and I'm running for mayor of Atlanta. You're running for mayor? Really? Yeah. OK. OK, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm getting sidetracked. First things first. Why would your friend Steven do something like this? No, I have no idea. Well, I, I told him about you. About me? Well, what about me? Well, I told him about the night we met on Christmas Eve and how I couldn't get you off my mind. <clears throat> let's, let's get to the bottom of this. Yeah. OK. Look, Chance, I know you're upset. And you have every right to be. I'm mad, too. But let's look at the bright side. You're here. And I'm here. I mean, at least we have the opportunity to spend time with each other again. But I'm not due back in Atlanta till tomorrow. Well, let's have some fun. Fun? <laughs> look. After all of this, I'm in no mood to be walking around D.C. trying to explore the city in these six-inch hills, okay? Besides, we tried that whole fairy tale thing the last time, and you see how that ended up. No, thank you. Don't worry. Just trust me. I don't know. I mean, the last time I trusted you, you went missing. I know. I owe you an explanation for that, and you'll get it. Let's just go to dinner. Catch up. Come on. Schedule. But I think I know a better place. I see Jack and Ginger still your thing. And I see you're still a Jameson on the rocks kind of guy. That's right. I think everyone should have a signature drink. Mm. <laughs> so you brought me here to catch up. So what happened to you? Get straight to the point, I see. That's right. State the facts and keep them moving. Is everything work for you? Don't look at me like that. You know you're the same way. We met here today for business. Well, at least we thought we were. And the first day we met, we were on the job as well. So you're just as driven as I am. <laughs> Good point. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to believe this. The night right after we met, I had my phone out, and a biker flew past me, knocked it out of my hand. The next thing I know, my phone is lying in a sewer. So I had no phone and no way to contact you. Really? Yeah. You really 
<laughs> you really expect me to believe that story? Yeah, I'm telling the truth, I swear. So a few weeks ago, Steven shows me this viral video of some big time reporter and- That <laughs> video? So that's how he knew how to find me. Wow. It's all starting to make sense to me now. I told you I wasn't lying. Look, all in all, as much as I really wanted to be on that show today, seeing you again, that's a trip worth it. I agree. I'm really happy that our paths crossed again. I mean, that night was magical. It's one of my favorite holiday memories. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Time to break this party up. I'm curious. Chance! My girl. Celebrate our special day together. Come here. Our special day? What, <laughs> what is all of this? Let me show you. Wait, wait, wait. Rena, what, what are you doing? Chance, listen. Look, I know we've had our ups and downs. Okay, and I know I've made you second guess how I feel about you at times. But times have changed. Chance, I love you. Okay, I want to wake up to you and that beautiful smile for the rest of my life. I want you to be my wife, baby. Chance Tyler, will you marry me? Uh, baby, don't, don't you think that this is maybe a little too soon? No, I think this is perfect timing, actually. Because I know I love you. Baby, don't leave me that hard night. You gotta tell me something. Just say something. Please. Um, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I say yes. Yes, yes. I say yes. yes. Mm. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. Who was that? Nana. She's checking to see if I'm taking her to bingo tomorrow. No. Yeah. Well, the next time you speak to her, tell her I said hello. I will. Here you go. Let's see how this fiance look on you. 
<laughs> now, I'm not mad at you. I know sometimes you make poor decisions and your judgment can get a little blurry, but a reporter, for God's sakes? <laughs> that will never work. Look, you need my father to win this election. More importantly, you need me to make you look good doing it. So let's just stick to the plan and forget about her. Okay? Trust me, it's for the best. Business comes first, right? Exactly. Now keep your head in the game and your eye on the prize. How'd you know where to find me? Oh, honey, I know everything. Now get focused. What do you think? Uh, I like it, but I don't love it. It's not really your style. I know, I don't really like it either. I can't find anything that I want. Is that the real reason? What do you mean? All right, now don't bite my head off. Okay, so All right. when you say that, All right, just it's listen. about to be something. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've noticed you've hardly shown any interest in planning this wedding. Hell, we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me dragging you out of the house. That is not true. I'm excited. I've just been busy, that's mm. all. Okay. If you say so, Chance, listen, I know you, and something's up. Here you go. I'm serious. Why do you have to be so down? Look, I don't know if you're stressing over this wedding, but you always get like this around the holiday season. Girl, you're supposed to be happy, upbeat, celebrating. Girl, I hate the holidays. Oh my God, what person says that? Do you need me to recommend you to my therapist? <laughs> okay, so when I was 13, my parents divorced the week of Christmas. So, while all the other kids were picking which gifts they wanted Santa to bring them, I was picking which parent I wanted to spend the holidays with. Is that why you're scared? Scared of what? Girl, scared to fall in love. I don't know. It's just, it's like my career is the one thing that I can control. I call the shots, but with love, People change. Things change. I, I just don't want to get my heart broken. 
Honey, that's life. You ever heard of the phrase, it's better to have loved and lost than to not have loved at all? Yeah, yeah, whatever, <laughs> I guess. <sighs> <sighs> I mean, is the dress really that bad? No way. What are you looking at? Oh, girl, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Let me see. <clears throat> no, no, trust me. You uh, you don't want to see this. Let me see it. I said no, girl. Let me see I it. said no, woman. Girl, just stop. give me the magazine. Girl, 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 stop stop in and let me see it. Don't. No. Girl, I'm sorry. I was trying to warn you. Well, what can you do? I'm gonna go try on some other dresses. What do you think about this tux? I don't know, but it seems like this collar is cutting off my circulation. <laughs> So you're really gonna go through with this? Buying a shirt? Did you not just hear me? I can barely breathe. No, I'm talking about the wedding, fool. What do you mean? The invitations are out, the date's been set already. I mean, what, what do you expect me to do? Call this thing off. Go find Chance. It's like, do you even love Lauren? I don't know. But it's like I said before. We go good together. Besides, Chance won't even answer my phone calls. But this fairy tale ending you keep trying to put together is not gonna happen. No, I made a deal with her father. I can't renege on that now. No, you sold your soul for your career. Don't we all at some point in life? Look at it this way. I won the election. So now I can do the work in the community that I've talked about all these years. Everybody wins. You believe that? I have no choice but to. Okay, we're going live in three, two, one. You're on. 49-year-old unidentified man went to dirt What are you here doing? I'm so sorry for the unexpected pop-up, but I have something really important to tell you. Can this wait until later? I have a show mm -mm. going on. Mm -mm. Right Absolutely not. The tea I have is piping hot. Trust me, you're gonna want to know about this. This better be good. Oh, it is. OMG, is that Brandon? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The chance is Brandon? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. My shock level is on 10 right now. Where did you get that picture? Give me every detail. Don't you leave anything out. Girl, I was on my way to the post office. Next thing I know, I look up and I see these two cuddled up like they're a couple or something. I see. Yes. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe she's just a friend or a family, but like a, a, a sister or, or a cousin. Like or a next of kin. Yes. Right. Yeah, what was that? Right. But when they started kissing, I kind of knew something was up. A side chick. Yes, a side chick. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I think you should tell her. Me? Yes, you. No, not the longest. Brown girl magic. Is she here right now? No, she's out covering a story. Look, I don't think we should say anything. This is something that she needs to find out on her own. And I'm not trying to get in the middle of this, and I really don't think you should either. We can't have her walking around oblivious to all of this while we have the info. What about the girl code? OK, well, what if we tell her and then she stays with him? Then what? <gasps> Point. Promise me you won't say anything to Chance. Brianna, promise me you won't mention this to her. Okay. Okay, I won't. But you have to admit, tell me I shouldn't be working as a private investigator. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Okay. okay. I'm leaving. Okay. Be tell you about me, huh? Ho hold on. <laughs> Did you say girlfriend? That's what I said. Brent and I have been fooling around for years. And yet, he still has you saved in his phone as Nana. That really must suck for you. Oh, no, baby. It must suck to be you. You're the one marrying him. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> you do that. Brandon. I'll be out of set, man. My mom's done. No, I'm done. What are you talking about now, Sam? Who is Taylor? Taylor, I don't know. You tell me, I don't know. Oh, Taylor. you're gonna act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You want me to call her back? You ain't, you ain't gotta do that. So who is she? 
Taylor is just some girl I chilled a few times. That's it. A girl you it. chilled with. Because I love you. No, it's don't you. touch me. I don't know what type of idiot you take me for, but you better choose your words wisely. I call you an idiot, baby. I would never say no like that to you. What happened to all that talk? about you wanting to grow up and change and not mess around anymore. You remember that? Yes, and I'm sorry, baby. I, I don't know what to say right now. You know what? You don't need to say anything. It's obvious that we're not meant to be together. Oh, but... Chase, you don't mean that. Yes, we do. We are gathered together today here on this fine Christmas morning to witness the union of Jonathan and his bride and the soon-to-be Mrs. Lauren Bateman. Today we will see these two beautiful souls become one. They say when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing. Uh -huh. They say roses are red and violets are blue. On this glorious day, Jonathan's going to marry his boo. <laughs> All right. Now he ran his race with so much honor and perfection. And we just hope that he can lead Lauren in the right direction. Amen, Pastor. All right, amen, <laughs> sister. <laughs> There's always one. They say love is patient, kind, and cool. Lauren landed the mayor. She ain't no fool. Now, unlike the GOP, she picked the right man. But now, we hope that she can find a way to make him her biggest fan. Won't he do it? Now, if you were wondering if you could make a donation, please do, so that you can give to Love and Peace Ministries for our July to do to do. <clears throat> Come on, Pastor, can you uh, get on with this thing already? I'm <laughs> sorry, sir, yes. You are the check, mm, the man. <laughs> now, Jonathan, please repeat after me. I, Jonathan. <clears throat> I, Jonathan. Take thee, Lauren, to be thy wedded wife. Take thee, Lauren, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or poorer, and I do mean poor, because baby girl can max out a credit card, all right? <laughs> Did you see the dress? <laughs> that ain't off the rack. Yeah, it ain't a lie. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't mind me. Let me continue. <laughs> for better... Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, it sure is. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Anybody else sweating? Stay with me. Hey, hey. What's, what's the heat at all? Stay with us, brother. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I can't do this. What do you mean you can't do this? After all, we invested in you? I'm not in love with you. <gasps> 
Guys. <laughs> Guys, he's just playing. <laughs> Isn't he funny? <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, this boy better be playing all the money I done spent. No, hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna go warm up the car. I knew I knew what I was doing. Yes! Lauren, I, I, I can't do this. You're a great woman. Just not the one for me. I gotta go. Oh, oh hey. Jonathan! Oh, hey. Mayor Bay, Mayor Bay! Jonathan, Bay. bring your butt back here. Oh. I'm gonna count to three. One, two. Daddy, get him! Hallelujah! Mayor Bay, Mayor Bay! Can you tell the good people of Atlanta why you left Miss Page standing at the altar in her white dress? You know she's not getting any younger. So tell them, why didn't you go through with it? My heart belongs to someone else. Chance, if you're out there listening, you're the one that I want. I knew from the first time I saw you, you were special. You have my heart. We belong together. I love you. Well, you heard it here first, people. <laughs> Mayor Bateman is in love with someone else. I'm Jared Armstrong reporting live from Channel 12. Back to you, Scott. What a day. My grand. What a difference a year makes. I know, right? Somebody put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everything came full circle, huh? Yeah. And I'm glad we decided to come back here for Christmas Eve, where it all started. Well, yeah. It's our tradition. It sure is. And now that I got you in the A, we can create memories like this every day. That's right. <clears throat> this is Chance Tyler here, reporting live from Channel 12. Mm. Something a little off with that introduction. What, you didn't like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Chance Tyler Bateman. <laughs> Reporting live. Now that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make a toast. Mm. To love. To life. To us. And to Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.